okay the next topic i will discuss in c++ file input output operation that is streams random access of data in c++ so what is mean by random access okay random access and sequential access so there are, there is uh, there are two types of uh, mechanisms by which we can access data so what is sequential access so and what is random access sequential access and random access two data to these two are different uh, accessing data mechanisms are there sequential access means while reading uh, file suppose in a file i have some data like uh, just you think of a file cars file so in the in the cars file i have some data let us say the data is a b c d e e f g h i j k etc up to z now so when you want to read the data from this uh, cars file what happens means uh, the file pointer is going to read the all the characters one by one one by one one by one means uh, first it is going to read capital a next b c d e like that it is going to read all the characters one by one so this is this fashion is called as sequential access sequential access suppose you think of other example in a employee file in a employee file i have some records like id name mm, next salary job so these details i have okay just imagine that i have some 1000 records in employee table in employee table i have 1000 records now while printing information what happens the file pointer is going to read all the records in the sequential fashion sequential fashion means first first it is going to take record number 1 record number 2 record number 3 record number 4 like that is it is going to print all the information one by one in the sequential fashion so when the data is accessed in the sequential fashion what happens means suppose you wanted to take a particular record i want to collect triple uh, 9 record triple 9 record okay means 999 record so in case of 1000 records if i if you want to access triple 9 record so it takes lot of time okay so if the compiler the uh, processor is very speed no problem so even though some cases in the real time some millions of records are there so in the millions of records suppose i want to record a 1 lakh record or the 10 10 lakh record so in such case what happens here the reading the sequential fashion becomes very difficult okay so to overcome that in c++ and c we have random accessing mechanism so random accessing mechanism means it is a mechanism by which you can uh, randomly select any record you can randomly select any record any file so that what happens here randomly directly or selecting a particular record means what happens a lot of time will be saved the um, we can we can use cpu efficiently so we can save lot of uh, say, uh, cpu time also okay that means random accessing is a mechanism by which we are going to access a particular record or data or uh, a character directly okay so how to access a uh, record or file record or file record or character directly means c++ offers some functions okay so using those functions directly i can move the file pointer onto that particular character or record okay so what are the functions just i will discuss here so here we have two functions one is uh, seek g function and another function is seek p function seek g function and seek g function seek g function and uh, seek p function both are going to take two parameters two arguments what are the arguments here um, first this is l so l is the position on to which the file pointer has to be moved so next second parameter is this is offset means the from which location we have to start the start the searching again this is sorry this is fixed position l comma what we are going to say we are going to say like this ios beginning ios and ending like this so what is this ios beginning or ios end 
so ios beginning indicates so this is a beginning of the file so starting from beginning of the file i want to move the file pointer the file pointer how many characters forward l characters forward then what is g and what is p so g this is what read pointer read pointer means just uh, using this pointer just we can read the data okay in a particular position okay in a particular position we can read the data and uh, within the uh, at that particular position if you want to write the data use seek p function seek p this is right pointer and this is read pointer this is right pointer and this is what this is read pointer so this is going to only fetch the information at a particular location okay using that pointer we cannot write the data in a file now if you want to write a character in a particular position in a particular position use the seek p function seek p function now just you think it the think of this uh, upper case letters which are stored in cars data file cars data file now the reading of the reading process will be like this a b c d suppose i want to replace or i want to read a particular character now this is 1 2 3 4 5 5 like this suppose i want to read fifth character directly so to read a fifth character directly i can move a uh, file pointer to eighth location 1 2 3 4 5 5 now here suppose i want to replace the character after e so after e i want to replace some other characters like uh, any characters like this some so then you can make use of seek p pointer seek p pointer is used for especially for special writing a character or set of characters in a particular position in a string okay let us say i i will uh, few i will give few examples here suppose seek g mm phi comma what ios beginning so what does it mean actually suppose the same file you take characters characters file we have some data like this a b c d e f g h i etc up to z and so this file is pointed by something like file now i can say seek g phi comma ios beginning means starting from uh, beginning character means starting from starting from first character i want to move uh, the character pointer onto fifth position so what is the fifth position 1 2 3 4 5 so this fifth character will be accessed here so this is for reading only so when you try to print the when you try to print this what happens directly it is going to print e directly it can access which one eighth character now seek g or seek p seek p i may say okay you take another one seek g of minus 5 ios what ios what okay ios i will say 2 ios beginning what happens here from beginning position starting position the character pointer the pointer is placed at a second character second what is second character b is a second character okay so like this you can move file pointer to any location so this is about seek p function so then what is about seek uh, sorry seek g function what is about seek p function same syntax is it will take fifth ios beginning like this okay now when i use ftl functions so this ftl function sorry ftl sorry tell g tell g and tell p so the tell g tell p functions are used for printing the file pointer where it is located so the moment you locate this uh, five ios beginning what happens here now this is going to this one tell g it go tell g it is going tell g is going to give five and when you are using tell p okay 
So if I use after this, after this function, seek p function. So if you are using tell p function, what happens? It is going to give fifth one. Okay. After seek g function, use tell g. After seek p function, use tell p function. So this is this is about a random access. Suppose you take one string. We are going to implement it. I have some data in a file called characters. In characters file, I have some data. Like data name itself is a some data. Now, using this uh, CP function, what I have to, what I can do means I want to remove this data in the place of data. Just I want to replace it with information, some information. Okay, for writing information at uh, D. Starting from D, I have to use which function? Seek P function. Seek P. Seek P. Starting from the length. Which which position here? Starting from this one. Starting from this one. How many characters you want to replace? From which? So the second parameter is what? I O S. Beginning. Beginning. From some data after uh, after yes some you have to replace it with information. Okay, so how it can how it can be done? Programmatically, I will show this. So just you look at the program. So I have taken one uh, file called some characters, some cars using F stream object F file, file dot open, some cars. So this I am going to open with uh, out mode and in, oh, in mode means output mode and input mode. So character data I have allocated. Hundred characters here. Text of ten. Enter data. So that the data given by the keyboard will be stored in data. So data is in array, which can store hundred characters max. So immediately after reading data from keyboard, I am storing data into which file? File. File means file is indicating by which one? Some char. Some char is indicated by file. So, so this data, the data which is available in data array, will be written to some cars file. Okay. Now some cars file is going to contain what some data, whatever data. Now, second time I am going to using what enter data to be replaced. Enter data to be replaced. So the data I am storing into text file, text array. So before doing any operation, before finding out, before finding out, before using C P function. I am finding out the length of text array. So the length of text array is stored in L variable. Now file dot seek p. File dot seek p. File dot seek p of L. So seek p of L means the length of the length. That means uh, suppose text contains uh, four letters. Four letters we will be moving. Uh, forward, four letter, four letter, four letters will be moving forward direction. So after that, what I am doing here? File dot write text comma string length of text. Just have a look. Some data. Enter data to be replaced. I want to replace. Data with replace after uh, fifth uh, fourth character. Just you say some information. This is a message to be displayed. L equal to string length of text. So what is the length of text information info? Info contains four letters. Okay, so file dot ck means some data. The character position is located at what? The file pointer is located at which location? Fourth position.
Do you give any data? Soft. <laughs> 